How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm great. I get to talk with you about the about this new series, and wow, what <laughs> I mean this this thing takes off like uh, like a shot. Uh, it's it's exciting. It's it's adventurous, and it's a rescue uh, series. Um, talk to me a little bit about the development of the series. Well, we tried not to make it boring, <laughs> and um, really bring together a, a, a thriller and uh, set it in the real world of relationships between the United States and Colombia and Venezuela. And then inside of that, there's this um, family drama, if you will, a story about trust between husband and wife and mistrust and secrets. And uh, then after the, after, the, after the kind of series opens, we shot the rest of it all in Colombia. Mm-hmm. So um, there's, as you know, that's a beautiful country and, and, and everywhere you look is, is a more eye-popping kind of visual than the last. And it's also a very complicated country with a very violent past. And so we get into all of that in the series as, the, as this kind of rescue story uh, kicks up gears. I would imagine that filming in Colombia has its unique problems. I mean, do you have to, you know, deal with consulate and do you have to deal with showing them your scripts first and, uh, you know, they have to. Okay no, I, well, it does have. I mean, it's not easy <laughs> yeah. to do, but the but the 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 Colombian government was actually pretty welcoming. I think they they view productions coming down as an economic benefit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we did have a lot of issues just environmentally. We shot in uh, the jungle for some of the some of the episodes. And I was being a kid from New York City. I was not prepared for the snakes and the mosquitoes and the the the, the moisture and the humidity. And uh, I mean, I, I say that and, and people kind of nod. But unless you've been there, it's it's pretty it's pretty intense. I think that the jungle itself becomes a character in, in oh for sure for sure the jo- it is but but it's like a character that's that you pay for I mean I can remember going and 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 just filming a little scene that probably the scene lasted twenty seconds so it maybe took us fifteen minutes to film just a little piece of amber running through the jungle and we everybody came out of there covered in fire ant bites and mosquito bites and and this was after having tried to to um to make sure the area was safe so anyway it's not to it's not to complain about the mosquitoes but since you ask about challenges i would have to say that was one of them what an amazing cast you got blessed with thank you thank yeah I, that's exactly how i feel i mean the whole the whole trick of this stuff is to get great actors and then and then they can bring the story to life and add to it and I think they all did a really uh, commendable and 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 in in a lot of cases brave job. Uh, Luke showing so much strength in his character and also a lot of vulnerability and not being afraid to cry, which is not something you see every day on a guy who's jacked and strong and knows how to sh- you know shoot an M4. And and Jessica playing Amber having this ability to kind of contain so many secrets and yeah. and constantly be revealing to the audience a different side of herself so that you're never you feel like you want to know this person but she's always just a little bit um you know just a little bit out of your total your complete grasp in our final seconds we have what do you think audiences are going to take away from watching echo 3 what do i think they'll take away well i hope i have i have no idea but i hope that they find it um <laughs> I hope that they find it intense and and exciting and thought provoking. And it's a white knuckle ride for sure. White knuckle ride, I'll take that. Yeah, uh, Mark, thank you so much for your time this morning. It's great to meet you. Likewise, thanks for yours.